What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Rip and Packs. On today's video, we are shiny hunting, baby. But with something a little different, y'all. Today we are gonna crack open another Shining Fates ETB. And at some point, we're gonna open this Shining Legends single pack. Picked up at the flea market. But before we roll into that, Pokemon trivia. To, oh shit, our boy Gengar makes an appearance. How does Gengar scare opponents away, y'all? Well, let's get our minds right and find out shortly. And I can't wait to see if we find any shinies today, y'all. We'll be right back. Alright, y'all, thanks for accompanying me again on this shiny hunting journey. And of course, y'all, Gengar pretends to be their shadow so it only seems fitting since we pulled Gengar let's have him lick the Shining Fates pack or excuse me Shining Legends pack let's just let it sit back there and marinate in that Gengar saliva Let's crack open our ETB of Shining Fates. I did mean to pick up a couple Hidden Fates pack from my dude at the flea market, but I did forget this week, y'all, about Hidden Fates. I got too excited buying a couple different black and white packs and um, a couple other things to look forward to for y'all that are coming soon. Hopefully everything will come out this week. We do get another pack of sleeves. And what I was digging for for y'all was this promo for the box. Or not promo. Another EVV Max. Um, the uh, freaking code card, man. I am still tired from this weekend, y'all. That yard sale kicked my ass. And then walking around the flea market all day the next day. But... It is what it is, y'all. Let's get to ripping and see if we can find some shinies today. We are still looking for the Zard in this box and a lot of the full art. We got a lot of the baby shinies, a lot of the, the regular hollow shinies. We need some full arts. Something better than a double and whatever that other one we pulled. Um... Phalanx maybe was in here. Yeah, we are happy to have them. But we are looking for the heavy hitters. And hopefully Shining Legends comes through with that, y'all. There, there's some nice shiny cart or shiny Pokemon in that set that I would love to pull. Um that's still still on the time frame when I was not opening packs. Looks like we got something in here. So something I have not seen from Shining Legends, hopefully. I may have opened a pack or two of them back in the day, but it's really not. I think 2017 was, was the release time frame for that pack. Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. I will. We'll know here shortly. I'm going to show the date off before I open it. Okay, so that was in the reverse spot, I guess. All right, we'll take it, y'all. Senta Scorch V Max, shiny. Very. I'm assuming that's a shiny. I'm not super familiar with this Pokemon. I think he was red anyway, but I mean he's got the shiny stars around him, so we're gonna say that was a shiny. I am picking up some penny sleeves soon, so y'all don't have to sit here and watch me suffer. Trying to squeeze these into these tight, tight sleeve art or uh, sleeves that they provide you with the box. And I gotta get some top loaders and stuff, y'all. We are still planning on sending some stuff off to PSA to get graded. Maybe we can find something nice today to send to PSA to get graded. Wouldn't that be freaking awesome, y'all? Man, I would love to pull something dope out of that Shining Legends pack, man. 
even if it's not a shiny Pokemon, like, I think that's a nice rush ram. We're gonna set that back there just to, to show off, but I believe Shining Legends has that alternate art Mewtwo in it, where he's like curled up in that test tube or whatever that shit they made him in was called. Or contained him in. Don't don't really recall if he was made in that or not. And we do have something shining on the edge over here in this pack. Are we finally gonna pull? Oh man. Spoilers, y'all. I don't think anything was revealed. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm still looking for that chunky, chunky Charizard. Nice rose. Fucking hell, this guy's a scumbag, if you ask me, man. He just seems seems like the ultimate, ultimate scumbag of, what is he, a commissioner or chancellor or some shit they call him? Chancellor Rose or Commissioner Rose, man. He just seems like a scumbag. At least from my perspective of him from the anime and the game. Real fucking scumbag. I think that's our first... It might be our first full art trainer that we've pulled from Shining Fates, man. We were we were on fire there for a little while pulling the shiny Pokemon. It's looking like it's cooling down for us. I haven't even seen one of the the regular hollow shinies in this box yet. And I think we're about halfway through it now. Love that card of Eevee swimming and choodle, chewing on that cattail. Good looking artworks in these cards, y'all. And a Yon Mega. Non Hollow. Oh, man. Greninja. Come on, man. Holler at your. Holler at your packs down here, man. I know this ain't the set you're from. But talk to these packs, man. Tell them. Tell them to come through for us, man. The hot streak might finally be over here at Rippin' Packs, baby. We pulled that $300 uh, Giratina V alt art the other day. There we go. Phalanx. We did pull the uh, Phalanx full art, but this is the first Phalanx. I don't know if they're calling these baby shinies or if that's just the unevolved forms of them or, or what. But I fucking hate Phalanx, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the stupidest Pokemon I've ever seen. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I am happy. It's a shiny, at least. But, you know. Give me something better than a freaking Phalanx, man. Freaking Phalanx. Hate that thing. But, is what it is, y'all. Looks like we got something poking through on this one. Two. Let's see what Arceus has for us. Just a more Peko V. Not looking out for us, Arceus. That is all right, y'all. And we have had four. I mean, I guess we can call these hits. Nothing I'm really proud of. We got three packs left. I mean, the Sun of Scorch is pretty cool, I guess. But more Peko V. Let down. Rose is all right, I guess, y'all. He is a scumbag. But I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm not not feeling it, and not a good time to not be feeling it when we're dropping two hundred dollars on five packs, y'all. I went a little crazy at the flea market. He did, last week, he did have a base set two pack I was planning on picking up this week, but he has sold it already. Careless. Another trainer card. Full art trainer card. Maybe consider that alt art. I don't know. Not the shinies we're looking for, but, I mean, two full art trainers and an ETB. That's got to be pretty good art odds. I'm not real familiar with the values of the trainers from from Shining Fates. I don't think anything we've pulled today has been 
real valuable or worth talking about. I could be wrong. I will have to check some comps out later. But yeah, like I was saying, y'all, I picked up that base set two pack was gone. I do got another store I'm trying to get to and check out to see if they got anything. Vintage, I am looking for some base, fossil, jungle, rocket. But it's got to be affordable, man. I can't be out here driving four or five, six hundred dollars on a pack. Galarian Corsola Shiny. We have pulled this one, I believe, here on the channel before. I think y'all have seen it. I mean, this, this, this ETB ain't been too bad so far, y'all. We have pulled, it's one, two, three, four, five. I mean, I guess six hits from this ETB. I think there's nine packs and Shining Fates. I haven't been counting. Didn't look before I opened it. Doesn't really matter. Five hits from an ETB is good. Hopefully we can make it six with this one. Not seeing nothing poking out the top, but maybe we got another baby. Maybe baby. And then we are going to open that Shining Legends, y'all. We do got some other, like I was saying, some other vintage packs coming and some potential for more. And my boy at the flea market does have multiple packs of... I mean, I don't know if you consider this a vintage pack. I do. I mean, it's six years old. And we have a blaze, or blaze a bright trail with shining Pokemon. In each region, a handful of Pokemon stand apart as creatures of heroic stories and wild adventure. Adventures. Zekrom, Latios, Mewtwo GX, Entei GX. Others are just whispers and rumors. Mysterious Pokemon, such as Keldo, Shining Jirachi, Shining Volcanion, and many more. See and collect these ex astounding Pokemon of myth and legend with the Pokemon TCG Shining Legends expansion. It looks like this set has 70 cards on it is what it's saying. And it is from 2017, as I said. And let's rip this open, y'all. If y'all are looking for this pack to open or keep sealed or whatever you do with your Pokemon packs. I think on eBay this pack goes for around 30 to 40 bucks currently. I think it's three. It should be Sun and Moon Air. And that is four. So it is four. We got the energy. Did not want to screw anything up, y'all, if we did get something good. So these are kind of like pricey packs, y'all. 30, 40 bucks for a pack of cards. Not guaranteed anything. Is a big pill to swallow. Not as bad as that uh, plasma freeze we opened last episode. Setting us back, well, maybe not last episode, but in a Hopa Hollow. So they do consider that a hit, y'all. I don't think you're guaranteed anything out of here. But we're going to sleeve that up. I think Hopa might be one of the chase, like not the chase card, but like, I don't know. Probably not. Looks like there's 73 in here, but. I mean, when I'm paying that much for a pack, if I get a hollow, I'm going to sleeve it up just in case. And there you go. If you want to see it again, y'all, the Hopa from Shining Legends Hollow out of at least a $30 pack. But y'all, thank y'all for being here. It's definitely been a blast and a privilege sitting here providing y'all with entertainment. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, do so. And we will see you on the next one, guys. Thank you.